What? Out of the blue, I inherit $30,000? <laughs> so what to do? Wow. For an unseen moment in my life, I am free to be crazy <laughs> and adventurous and to not work <laughs> my regular day job <laughs> is to clean houses in Berkeley, California, in San Francisco. And my current life is a, it's so exciting, like getting a car insurance bill in the mail. So my spirit jumps at this chance to Grow the grid. Just ah. wow, what ever my heart desires, dream way out of the box. Just get out of that little shoe box, you know. Thirty thousand bucks that should be able enough to like <clears throat> get out of there. Huh? What to do? <laughs> Oh, it's like a Tibetan Dorje thunderbolt <laughs> pierces my soul with the answer. Uh, I will make a sacred pilgrimage to my cave in the Greek islands that I haven't been to for what? 30 years? The cave of my youth on the island of Rhodes? Rhodes? Oh. Reckless abandon. <laughs> I score an airplane ticket from San Francisco to München. <laughs> Change planes there to Athens, throwing a month some money around. You see how how I do, and then uh, change to Olympia and scoot down the islands. Trodos. Okay. Ooh, I feel thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Under my reckless control, and nobody can stop. <laughs> Obviously, this memoir needs some backstory. Okay. My spirit was born in this Ganesh cave in 1968 when I was 20 years old. Within the womb of the Ganesh cave, I was hatched from my egg of Western ego tripping, <laughs> you know, uh, by the warmth of Hindu and Buddhist wisdom. Yeah, I dragged the great books into the cave, huh? I love to sit on a rock ledge outside the cave entrance in the sparkling Greek island sun, oh, and smear my naked body from head to toe <laughs> with olive oil, Greek olive oil, <laughs> and glisten like an eternal prince. Oh. And outside the entrance, I read passionately the 1100-page magnus opus of Sri Aurobindo, The Life Divine, to the wild goats, horses, thistles, mm -hmm. sparkles, Indra's infinite sparkling net of the Aegean Sea below, and afterwards, I would withdraw into the inner chamber, even deeper 
than the first womb chamber to absorb these spiritual impressions. Let them sink in while meditating in the Tibetan Buddhist manner. Well, look at, uh, I just didn't stay in the cave all the time. Uh, from the Ganesha cave, I always found out towards the Orient, towards Asia, India. I'm a young gypsy, I, you know, wanderlust, gift of gab. I hitchhike through Turkey, Syria, Iraq, lovely people. The Syrians, the Iraqis, just love them. They love me and help me get through there. Um, you know, all the way through Persia, Pakistan, India, and eventually expanded, uh, expanded my planetary uh, range. You know, as like a wild young animal, explorer, want a big range, you know. <laughs> all the way to Southeast Asia, including Bora Badur, uh, colossal mandala in Java. But I always returned to my Ganesh cave, no matter what.